Uh, the most interesting point about Atlet's heart is that the powerful, highly adapted heart and a light Atlet can be a near perfect imposter, mimicking the appearance of one of the most com common causes of sudden cardiac death in the young, God forbid. What is this? Yes, very good. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Yes, we used to talk about that. So, both healthy athlete's heart and the diseased heart with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy can present with a thickened left ventricle wall on the echo and an abnormal looking ECG. A doctor looking at these tests could see what appears to be a dangerously diseased heart when in fact it's a sign of peak peak physical conditioning. This creates a high-stakes diagnostic nightmare. Mistakenly clear an outlet with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, cardiomyopathy to play and they could die on the field. Well, we mistakenly diagnose another point. A healthy outlet, another wing, with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and you needlessly end their fantastic career. So why so shocking? A life or death mimicry. The stakes could not be higher. <laughs> the ability to differentiate between these two conditions is one of the most critical responsibilities in sports cardiology. Basic tests are not enough. You can just rely on the ECG or a simple echo measurements. Differentiating them requires advanced techniques looking at diastolic function, strain imaging, and sometimes even a cardiac MRI. Yeah. And fascinating is here. Delightful. One of the best ways to tell them apart is to prescribe detraining, also called deconditioning. So if it's a real athlete, Athlete's heart. The athlete is told to stop exercising intensively for three, six months. So, if it's a true athlete's heart, the physiological hypertrophy will regress and the heart wall will get thinner and it's no longer under uh, heavy workload. Whereas, in heart with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, the pathological thickness is genetic and will not change no matter how much the person rests. This is a definitive albeit slow way to unmask the imposter, but I think it's a perfect way. It's a brilliant idea. God bless the doctor who described this. Great. Stay blessed, my beloved.